Hello there guys. Today I'm going to show you how to burn any CD that you want to. Now I'm going to be uh, us uh, using the Avira rescue system as a demo. So this is just like an example, okay? But this applies to any CD. It could be Linux, it could be, oh, I don't know, Windows PE. Uh, it could be absolutely any ISO file that you want, okay? This applies for all. Let me just make that quite clear. So, firstly, uh, I'm, just let's say if this is about, you know, wanting to make a bootable antivirus disk. So, what you want to do is you want to download the image as soon as you can. So, as recent as possible. So, I would advise that you download your image right now. I, I've already made a video on where to get the download for this, so the, uh, the link's already there, so I won't put up the link again. But my point is, is, is if you're making a, a bootable antivirus disk, you want to download the ISO file as recently as possible before burning it, okay? Now, obviously, when you boot into the bootable antivirus disk, you can update it and it will have the latest database. So, you know, it's not the most vital thing, but, you know, it's a good idea. And, of course, that depends on what you're burning, okay? It, this could be anything. I, I want to make that quite explicit. It could be Linux, it could be anything. Second of all, let's get to, to the burning software. I'm going to put a link in the description for ImageBurn. And ImageBurn is an image burning software. It's totally free and it's very, very easy to use. So you click download the latest version. I'm going to save the file. It's going to download very quickly. File Hippo have a very good service. I've I've, uh, I've downloaded it to the desktop. And this is nearly completed. Okay. Now I've already installed mine, but it's not going to do me any harm to install it again. So I'm going to install this to show you. This is a totally free program that's not harmful to your system. It's very uh, you know it's uh, it's real. Nothing to worry about. Now, I'm going to install with default settings. If you want to install for all users, that means that you want to have it so that all your users on your computer have access to this. You want to tick that box. Now, I'm the only user on this computer, so there's no point. So, I would, advi I would advi advise that uh, if you want to modify this at all that you put a checkbox in there or not okay that that's you know I, I would suggest that you just leave the rest of it alone I'm going to click next click next click next do not get the toolbar okay it's adware and well not adware but you know they slow down your computer and I, I absolutely hate them I think they look, they look really tacky. Anyway, so it opens up the official image burn website. Just dismiss that uh, and leave that selected. Run image burn. Right. Okay. So now what you want to do is put in your CD. Now I suggest that you buy a cheap pack of. DVD plus R, that means recordable. Or you could get DVD plus R, which means rewritable. Now, with recordable, um, that means that you can write files to the disk, but you cannot ever use the disk for anything else again. So you can't delete anything off the disk, you can't write another image file to the disk. So if you want to, if you're the type of person who wants to always, you know, be able to change what's on the disk, I suggest you get, um, DVD plus RW. I would have gotten that, but I couldn't afford it. Anywho, and what I'm doing right now, by the way, is I'm literally putting the 
CD into my tray. So, you know, you literally just insert it the right way up. Close the tray. Your computer is going to realize that there is a disk in the tray. I don't know if you can hear that or not. That's just the disk starting to spin. <coughs> now, if we go to computer, you'll see that I now have a disk in my drive. Oh, I'm just going to cancel. So yeah, we've got a, uh, a disk in my drive now. So what you will want to do is you'll want to go to this right image file to disk. It's the top left button right here. Right image file to disk. Excuse me, that was a motorbike. Uh, da, da, da. Right, okay. So what you want to do now is you want to click browse for file. And then just go to wherever your file is saved. Mine is saved in my documents. Yours might be right here on the desktop. Okay. That this all depend. This, this bit depends on where you've saved saved the file, not where I've saved the file. Okay. So mine's here, right there. Rescue underscore system dash common dash n dot iso. Open. So now. This has been selected, and all we need to do is click this button down here to start the pro uh, the process. And all you have to do now is just let that go, so it's going to buffer. It's going to also verify that uh, the disk is okay once the ISO file is burned. So. You might or might not want to leave that checked, I don't know, that's up to you. So what you want to do right now is just wait for this to get to 100% where it says complete, okay? I'm going to pause the video whilst that runs along. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's nearly finished. And what it's doing right now is it is finalising the disk. This means that it's going to protect it and so nothing else can get onto that disk, okay? nearly finished. And uh, we're still waiting now. I, you know, uh, I can always tell when it's going to finish because, you know, you just get that feeling when, you, when you've been uh, doing this quite a lot. I'm going to be uh, using this disc for myself. I was thinking to myself, uh, I'll just, I'll burn that thing to a disc, it'll come in useful. But then, you know, I was about to do it. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I want to show people how to do it, so why the hell am I not recording this? So, uh, uh, d uh, don't mind this message. What it is, is, is um, the, uh, it's finished burning the file to the disk, and I have a laptop, and my tray is just one of those button trays, and it pops out, and you have to push it in manually, so don't worry about that. So now it's finished. All you need to do now is put this CD into your CD wallet or CD case, which I, that's what I'm doing right now. There we go. I've got that CD right now and I can use it. Now, if we're talking in terms of a... Uh, if we're talking in terms of burning a bootable antivirus disk well okay I've forgotten what I was going to say excuse me a second hi guys I'm back sorry about that <laughs> I had to take a second to remember what I was going to say then uh, if you're burning a bootable antivirus disk 
it might be that, and uh, and it might just be that that's the way you prefer to do things if you've got a really infected computer, if it's yours or not. It might be though that you can't boot up the computer, or when the booter, uh, the um, computer is booted up, it's too slow. You can't do anything. It's all locked up. So you have to use a bootable solution. So you might actually have to do this on another computer. But it, it's very simple as you saw. You, you know, you, you need to, all you need is the install file for image burn, the ISO file, a CD tray, and that's it. It's, you know, a baby can do it, okay? Not necessarily a baby because they don't, you know, but you, you know what I mean. So, I think that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I've helped you in any way I can by doing this video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.